Hello everyone and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be trying something new. I found a, um, a cabinetry add-in to Fusion called Joiner CAD. So this allows you to do a whole bunch of things including building cabinets, um, getting a bill of materials, putting on um, signing materials so you can get a, an idea of what it'll look like. It's quite a quite a cool tool quite powerful so we're just gonna quickly run through the basics so stay tuned and see how you go to get started with this one um, we're going to be using um, solid form so I'll create a sketch on the front plane so this will be the height and width of the cupboard or shelf we're making I'll select the origin point. You can do this however you want. Um, but mine is going to be 1.2 high, or, sorry, 1.8 high by 1.2 wide. So this gives us the beginnings of our cupboard. And I'm going to extrude it. It's going to be 400 millimeters deep. So if we look here, we've got just got this body, this rectangular shaped body. Um, now we're going to jump into Joiner CAD. Um, if you missed it, the link is in the description for where you can find the Joiner CAD add-in. You just download it there and you register, and then you get to use it. Some of the features are free, some require a license, but it's quite a fantastic software so then you go like you would go into surface or mesh or sheet metal you click on join a CAD now we're going to convert this box into uh, something with panels so I'll go over here top left dress up and we'll click on the body or well, we don't even click on it it's selected automatically so if you look over there it's got panels so I don't want this to be closed I'm going to click on this top one panel 6, it's actually going to disappear. So if you click on a side, it'll disappear or reappear. And over here you can you can name them. So I could go left, panel 7 would be right. And so on. <clears throat> and over here we can show inside, outside, symmetrical. What I found the best way for me is do them all inside um, because then you know the the external diameters are set as per your um, your body and then you can adjust it with the trim tool. So here's the thickness of our wood, it's 16 millimeters. So now we've got these panels. I'm going to just turn this body off so we can see uh, we've got some panels. But if you look at the edges, they're overlapping one another. So what we can do, uh, if I want this top part to be sitting on the upright, I can go here to trim, select the panel I want to trim. So I want to trim this top panel and the boundary panels. I want to trim the side panels, the boundary panels will be the top and the bottom. So once I've done this, you can see over there, it's resized that panel. Um, now we need to do this for the back. So if I, for instance, wanted the back panel to be sitting inside there, I'll go on trim. I want to trim the back panel and I will select all the surrounding panels as the boundary panels. So we look at it now, it is fitting nicely in there. So there we have our basic panels that make up our dresser or shelf, whatever we're doing. Now if I want to add in some uh, shelves or dividers, I can click this skeleton or dividers 
and you just select the size you want and then you select how many you want so I'm gonna have three divisions so that'll give me a total of four compartments and I click OK but now what it's done done the same as same width as that so I can go back to click uh, on trim select these new panels and the boundary panels will be the side panels and now we've got some shelves so now what we, now that we've got these four compartments I'm gonna um, do another shelf divider but this time select the side panels and I'll drop one in the middle you can say there you want it symmetrical inside or outside it'll just determine if it's centered or not so I'm going to leave it as symmetrical and now you can see it's one continuous piece of wood overlapping those but I want these to be um, cut off shelves and then one piece of wood down the middle so I'll go to trim select the pieces of wood that need to be trimmed and select the boundary panel. Now what it's done is it's um, cut off the right hand ones. I'm not sure why it does this if there's a way around it. So now we've done this, uh, I actually want to clone these. So I'm going to clone, I'll select the panel and I'll select the object so that would be that far side. And we can see now it's overlapping that piece of wood so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just say inside it's moved too far outside that's where I want it so there we have that same panel on the right hand side for some reason it only lets you clone one at a time so you just repeat that step select the clone select the object and it was outside I'll just finish off with this and then I'll show you guys how to do a, a bomb list, a bill of materials. So there's our cover, we see we've got a back section, um, we've got the sides and I can see now these parts all need to be trimmed. So I need to select this and each shelf because they are running through that backboard. So I'll select all of these to trim and the boundary panel will be that. So if we look this way you can see they're sticking out the back there. Trim them and they're right where we want them. So that's the basics of building. Um, you could then go back into solid. Say I wanted to put a door on here. I could create a sketch on the surface and then I could or just project there and then do a rectangle from there down to the center or if I've marked out the lines it's just to say that's centered then all you do is you extrude your body And uh, this was 16 millimeters is the thickness and I'm going to say new body now when we go back into joiner CAD turn bodies back on there's this other body here so I'm going to turn off body one and we can go uh, there's one called convert so convert we're going to change this into a panel select that element and there we have a panel that we could use as a door um, obviously it's a little bit out because I didn't project all the points and make sure it's centered but that's basically what it looks like and you can name each component over there now if I go click on um, BOM B -O -M, it's going to tell me it can't uh, build the bomb because there's no material selected. So let's see, there we go, there aren't any materials selected. 
So once we've got this and we want to get our bit of materials, we can select material group assignment. So you click on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to just select all the everything we want. So I see it hasn't selected these. So now everything selected and we will select a material. So we're going to make this timber 01. Click OK. You can see it's assigning it to each panel. And there we've got our material. So when we do a bill of materials, it will come out. And the nice little feature is you can control the grain. So I click on grain direction and I click this board. You can turn that to whatever degree you want. So let's make that 90. So now I can see the grain runs that way. Okay, so there it is. Looks good. Let's get a bill of materials. So I click on bill of materials. It's going to process it. Then it brings up a web page. Um, where it does it all works it all out for you um, and this can be downloaded as a Excel spreadsheet when it's all done so we can see here we've called it covered the reason it says recovered is because Fusion crashed when I try to generate the bill of materials so over there it's got the panels the sizes the width uh, thickness all of that so these panel six, that is all our shells. And if I label the door, that could have been door. And so whatever you label them in here, they'll show up on Fusion and then you can export it as an Excel spreadsheet. Let me just go back in here. So that's a look at our finished product. There's a whole bunch of other things you can do with it, but that's just the basics of Joinercad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you do, please like and subscribe. Um, for more videos like this, uh, keep an eye out on my channel. This is the first one I've done on Joiner CAD, but I've started making a couple of cabinets, so maybe I'll post some videos of the finished products up there. But anyway, until next time, bye.